Hey, it's Stopping Student here, and today I'm going to showcase how we can connect our HTML with CSS. And there are three ways to do it, and I'm going to showcase all three of them. So firstly, I have a simple HTML setup inside Visual Studio Code. And I'll just showcase we have a header, we have some random text, and we have some name labels and some input fields, input text fields. Then we can use CSS, which is a style sheet language, which means it's just a language that is used to style something else, in this case, our HTML, which is a markup language. So there's three ways, as mentioned, we can either inside a tag, for example, inside our tag, we can add a style element, and I can, for example, do color, and let's do brown. I then save, and we can see our, this is website header is brown. This is the first way we would almost never do it this way because it's not really proper. We could then create inside our head tag a style tag as well. In this case, an opening and a closing style tag. And inside this style tag, we can then create some HTMLs. We could, for example, say that all our H1 tags need to have the color. Not the color, this is too crimson. And save. And now our website is, this website header is crimson colored. So as you can see, we added a style tag where we can do all our HTML. But again, this is not the best way because we would like to separate all our styles. We would like our HTML in one document, our CSS in one document, and later on our JavaScript in one document. So what we can do now instead is I can delete the style element. I then created a completely different document. So a styles.css. And in this document, I defined as well that my H1 have a color. Now I did text align to censor it, and I added some grid element using a CSS class, which we're going to discuss later. But it simply means I have my all H1 elements need to be blue and censored, and all elements that have the class grid needs to be a part of an inline grid using as display. So how we connect our HTML to our CSS document is inside our header. We would add a link and already knows that more likely it would be a style sheet and our href which is a position of our document in this case then the same folder so i can just simply do styles.css and when i then save you can see that both my header has been turned blue and censored but this was how i demonstrate that we can do either inside tags at style we can add a style element inside a head or we can link to a, in this case, a CSS file. And inside the CSS file, we can do whatever we want, and they are connected to our HTML. So this is a quick showcase of how we connect, connect HTML and CSS. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.